not a surprise. That is not a surprise. We have a new U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion. That's exactly right. Boy, I couldn't be more happy, and I want to thank all the fans for their support because I know without them, there's no way I would hold this belt right now. You know, Kenny Wayne likes to run his mouth. He likes to do a lot of things, so he joins a dangerous alliance. Well, to me, that right there just tells what kind of man Ken Wayne really is. His heart's not with me. His heart's not with his fans. His heart seems to be with this idiot right here. Well, I'm not here to insult you. I'm here to compliment you. Congratulations on winning the title. You worked real hard for it. Yeah. Be and, careful. And yeah. since you are Mr. Super Citizen, since you are, as you say, a great U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion, why don't you put your money where your mouth is, right here on TV, this hour, why don't you put the title up against Nightmare Ken Wayne? That's a challenge, Danny Davis. You out here challenge? What, you, you think I'm a closet champion or nope, something? I'm saying if you're a real man, you'll put the title up tonight. If, I, if I'm a real man, right. I'll put the title up tonight. That's right. Against Ken Wayne. Against Ken Wayne. Yes or no, that's all I want to know. Well, first of all, I am a real man. Okay. I don't back down from anybody, so put it up. Okay, you want a title match? Yeah. You got it. You're on. See you later. Okay. Char Charlie, now, wait a minute. Charlie, there's a lot of stipulations in that contract on the road to Birmingham. At this time, I'm not allowed to divulge information i know i've been putting you off for a few weeks but uh there's a lot there's a lot concerned there if if i do sign the contract if ken wayne signs that contract if i win it will be undoubtedly the biggest night of my professional career but if i lose it could also turn out to be the worst nightmare i've ever had can't we find out more than that i mean you're being awful mysterious about this uh joe charlie all i can say is right now i can't divulge information because my family and myself we're still we're still talking about it and when i do decide if i'm going to sign that contract or not i promise you y'all will be the first to know thank you very much well, charlie yeah. two, two things are evident to me number one i'm sure that ron west will approve the match between danny davis and ken wayne for today's tv i think we made a main event anywhere in the world today and it'll be right here on television and we have another title match on today's show too so it's going to be even greater than we expected we now have two title matches on tv today and next week we'll know for sure what's in that contract because there's going to be a press conference with danny davis kenny wayne and our president david woods the kind of wrestling federation let's go to our first match of the day on the cwf Texas, the Dr. Tom Richard. Well, the great hour of wrestling that we have coming up starts with Dr. Tom Pritchard taking on Mike Starr. And of course, Bambi is at ringside. And as we said last week, she has been a tremendous addition to the uh, ring with Dr. Tom Pritchard uh, allowing him to concentrate more on what's going on in the ring and not having to worry so much about uh, the dirty white boy or the dirty white girl because he knows that Bambi is there at ringside to keep an eye open and to help out with me. Exactly. Moving out against uh, Mike Starr, as you said earlier, the Dr. Tom Pritchard gets a start and side headlock, clamping down with the pressure. And you know, you're talking about last week something we said a lot of things last week is still foggy in my mind. I was you know. going to ask you, Charlie, if you had had an opportunity to speak with Willie B. Hurt this week. Uh, yes, I have, and uh, Willie B. Hurt is scheduled to wrestle a little later on in today's program. And rather than me say what I have heard, in fact, some of the things I heard from Willie B. I would not want to repeat right now on television. Let's see if maybe he will allow us a word with him a little bit later on today. All right, we'll hear it right from his mouth. I know that having his son out here and having Eddie Gilbert, uh, gosh, I hate to say beat up, but that's what he did. He beat up a 14-year-old boy, one of the most disgusting things I have ever seen. And I won't say in wrestling, because I don't think that has a place in wrestling. No, it does not. Right now, the doctor going to that spinning toe hole on Mike Starr, clamping down with the pressure. Return CWF tag title match today on television. Don't miss that. And if Ron West gets everything squared away with that challenge and accepting of a challenge, 
We'll see Danny Davis against Nightmare Chen Wayne with the U.S. Junior Heavyweight title on the line. I know they are back right now, back in the office, trying to work out the details of that contract. And as you said, well, there's a three count, a beautiful backslide by Tom Pritchard. And a one, two, three on Mike Starr. And as we were saying, wait a minute, look at this. Wait a minute. The dirty white girl has oh. cracked Bambi. Uh, Bambi. I don't know. Why would she do that? She's obviously outside. And Tom Pritchard is just standing back saying, oh, I, I don't know. Let him go. Oh! The dirty white boy came in from behind and has thrown Tom Pritchard into the ropes and now over, over. the top rope. And, and now the, he's grabbing Bambi by the hair. I what? smell a rat. This whole thing was a setup. Oh, wait a minute. This is ridiculous. That's the only reason that she yeah. would come into the ring and attack Bambi. Now the, the dirty white boy and Missy quickly make their way out. Let's see. Is she okay? Oh, oh it's goodness. gonna take more than a few slaps to hurt Bambi, but boy, I tell you what, I bet it made her mad. And like I said, that whole thing had to be a plan, and, and let's give credit, a brilliant one. Who would expect the dirty white girl to come in and attack Bambi? Not me. It looks like, uh, it looks like uh, she is okay. It looks like she's okay. Your winner of the match is the Dr. Tom Richard. I see trees of green. Now entering the ring from Chattanooga, will it be hurt? Going out against Turbo Ted, and this is a different one to be hurt than what we're used to seeing. Joe Charlie Kennedy Platt, he didn't come out to the music. He didn't go around to the crowd. No sucking and driving. The man didn't dance. The man went straight to the ring, and he is taking care of business. And Turbo oh. Ted slammed there on the concrete floor, thrown back in the ring by Willoughby Hurt, who is like a madman. Going up against this Turbo Ted, takes his man into the ring. Well, here he comes. Oh, whoa. That'll do it. There's your three count. Willie B. Hurt. No playing around. Charlie, see if you can talk to Willie B. Hurt. Let's find out what's going on. Uh, look here, Charlie. I don't know exactly what happened out here. I just want to say that Eddie Gilbert, you belong to me. So go start praying. Because when you mess with my boy, when you mess with my family, that ain't wrestling. In that square circle, you can do anything you want to do to me. Because I am a wrestler. He ain't nothing but a young kid trying to grow up just like everybody else's. And for one thing, if nothing else in the world goes on, it's going to be me and you. And from now on, you can bank on that. I'm looking for you. Oh. The hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert. There you hear it from Willie B. Hurt. We'll be right back. Well, it's nice to do things for your neighbor. It makes you feel good. Now, how about those leaves? That feeling comes to everyone's heart. You want to have, but don't know where to start when someone's hand. It needn't be something great. A friend in need is a friend indeed. And whatever the job. Great. Almost as nice as yours, Mrs. D. Who does your yard anyway? Don't ask 
what you can do. Just do what you can do. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Well, Sunday night, August 14th, another big lineup of the CWF returns to the Montgomery Civic Center with me, Nightmare Danny Davis. Tape this rule. That's exactly right. You know, Ken Wayne, a lot of things have come down between you and I. My car's been involved in a lot of matches. Oh, yeah, it has been, to my dismay. Your title has been on a lot of matches, to my dismay. Well, I'm sick and tired, Ken Wayne, of there being stipulations all in your favor. Well, right now, let me tell you something. A tape fist match, that's just the way I want it, because that way I don't have to worry about my car. I don't have to worry about your belt. Only thing I got to worry about is standing across the ring from you with tape around my fist, knowing I can shove my fist down your throat. The only way a man gets beat is when he can't answer to the count of ten. And I can promise you one thing, Ken Wayne. I'm going to get in the gym, and I'm going to do me some dumbbell curls, baby. I'm going to get this arm pumped up, and I'm going to shove it down your throat. Well, it seems Paul E. Dangerously and the hot stuff Eddie Gilbert have really picked another big fight. Revenge match with Willie B. Hurt, and after the 31st, the fight... The that's war! That's right, Eddie Gilbert. Paul E. Dangerously, the war has just now started. And I want everybody in Montgomery to understand that Willie B. is right thick in the middle of it. You know what happened last time on the 31st. And we know right now that not only did you hum humiliate me against my son, but you also slipped her head. That's right, the legend right here in Montgomery. Well, let me tell you what, Eddie Gilbert, you and Paul Dangerously, the time has come for you to show and tell. And that's right, on the 14th, me. That's why Willie B is going to be get down, and it's going to be you that's going to be doing the falling down. That's right, Eddie Gilbert. Me and you, Jack, and Burhead is going to take care of Paulie Dangerously, handcuffed to the ring. Looking forward to it on the 14th. I want all my partners to come down, because at home, I feel like the snake, and I'm doing the biking. Welcome mats like these before. They're on doorsteps everywhere. But do they really mean it? I'd like to introduce you to one of Montgomery's finest new restaurants, the original House of Beef, where welcome is written everywhere. In our garden fresh salad and fruit bar, our fabulous dessert bar, and our homemade baked bread. In our thick, juicy USDA choice steaks and fresh gulf seafood, and in your favorite cocktails and a friendly, festive atmosphere. Come join us at the original House of Beef for the welcoming celebration on the Southern Boulevard across from Kmart. Page 355. Medications that can rob you of your sex life. Page 141. The secret ingredient in Italian foods that can help lower cholesterol. Page 545. How to silence the snorer. This incredible book belongs in every home. The Doctor's Book of Home Remedies. From the editors of Prevention Magazine Health Book. Over 670 pages of astonishing home remedies, all scientifically proven. Yours free for three full weeks. Page 341. Why you should never buy color toilet paper. Now the information you need to cure over 130 common health problems is always on hand. Act now and you'll also get this fabulous book, Meals That Heal, free. Page 497. Use oatmeal to end the itch of poison ivy. Page 570. Call now to get the doctor's book of home remedies free for three weeks. Keep it and we'll bill you in four easy installments of only $6.99. Call now, 1-800-367-7555. A religious extremist. You want nothing less than to destroy us. Sets off a wave of terror. I understand my duty to defend the Bajoran faith. A holy war that could divide the station. I think I've given you all the support I can, short of... It's not enough and bring the Federation to its knees. We are neither the enemy nor the devil. We'll see. Next time on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Friday night at 9 on WCOV-TV. and Shane Douglas have stepped in the ring. The new Seattle Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions going out against the D.I. 
and Detroit Demolition, and they're putting the titles right back up on the line. That's true, and this time it will be the Detroit Demolition in the ring rather than Private Pile. So now we have the match that we thought we were going to have last week with these two teams. The only difference is the titles and the belts are on the other team. And the demand for the return match this quickly, even on television, Joe, has something to do with the fact, Wade, that uh, Detroit Demolition was not the one defending the title when the titles were lost. And I'm also sure that Shane Douglas and Humongous wanted their opportunity to get their hands on the DI and Detroit Demolition after what happened after that match last week. So I'm, I'm sure they had absolutely no qualms about a rematch. And I think we should uh, not only congratulate the CWF, but some good words for the champion for being willing to come on television with this rematch and let a nation of television viewers see this match. And let's just find out who the real champions are. Right now, Detroit Demolition takes Shane Douglas by the hair, pulls him back in the ring. Front face like it is going for a suplex. High vertical into the air goes Shane Douglas. There he is. Oh, we were talking about strength. There's a prime example. Detroit Demolition holding Shane Douglas up there, but not able to get the three count. Shane Douglas found the strength, found the intestinal fortitude somewhere to kick out of that and not be pinned. He's trying for the corner, but he doesn't realize it's the wrong one. It's not where he was trying for. And now he's trapped in a corner with only Detroit Demolition between he and Daylight. And that's not a good place to be. And Douglas is finding out right now. Oh, Shane Douglas hits the canvas hard. What can you say about this guy? You have to have a question mark in your mind, right? He stands there like a little angel at attention until something happens. Oh, uh -oh. good move by Shane Douglas to make the pass. Shane Douglas back outside the ring. Private Paul is holding Shane Douglas down, which means Humongous is in against both men. Outside the ring, Paul and, and Shane Douglas are at it. There's that close line. The Lord Humongous hits out the Samoan. The Samoans have come in the ring. What is going on here now? The Samoans and Alan Hart have attacked Shane Douglas and Lord Humongous. And the D.I. had a strange look on his face. Like, what's going on here? What is going on? Here comes Willie B. Hurt and Mr. Olympia. And we have a disqualification, according to the referee. And look at the D.I. Now, the D.I. has a strange look like, what is this? I've got to believe they thought they had the upper hand. I do, too. It's a strange look. And he was giving Alan Martin yeah. and the Wild Samoan. You, you almost wonder if maybe something backfired here, Charlie. Exactly. Right now, I'll tell you what, the winners on disqualification are the Lord Humongous and Shane Douglas. We'll be back with more action after this. classic a comedy legend the famous san diego chicken the funniest craziest and one of the most beloved comics ever and now for the first time on video it's the chicken's greatest bit if you love to laugh here's the tape you've gotta have it's one hilarious routine after another caught in the act of his outrageous live performances more than 55 million people have seen the chicken in person in all 50 states and around the world but the chicken's home video is not in stores. This is a limited time television offer. The comedy tape of the year. Yes, everybody loves the chicken. Well, almost everybody. Here's how to order now. To order your copy of the chicken's greatest bits video, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-762-0500 or send $19.95 plus $4.50 shipping to the chicken video. P.O. Box 2818, Grand Central Station, New York, New York. Order now. WCOV is celebrating its 40th birthday, and you're invited. We got cake, we got balloons, let's do it. Join the party all this year on WCOV TV, Fox Television.
sorry I tried. It's been not such a good idea at the time. Don't sweat it. And runs into an old flame. There's a fire. I know. No, in the fire. The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr. An all-new episode. Then, they were warned to stay away. They've got a UFO here. And they'll do anything to keep it a secret. They should have listened. No! An all-new X-Files after Briscoe County Jr. Friday on Fox. Humongous and Shane Douglas holding on to the CWF tag titles. Another big title match coming up later in today's program. And that's a surprise for a very special gentleman. Right now, we said we'd have this feature. It's the first in a series done by Missy, and it's called Missy's Manor. I'm Missy Hyatt, and this is the first edition of Missy's Manor. And on my first show, my guest is Paul E. Dangerously. And I just want to say something to you. That cute pink outfit, it kind of matches the decor of uh, my chairs and everything else. But there's something wrong with you. You've been acting really strange lately, and, and that's why I want you here. I want you to... I mean, why are you acting that strange? <laughs> it's an honor to be here on Missy's Manor, okay? It really is. And to be the first guest is really an honor. But I'm here today, Missy, to bring something out in public because really it, 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 it's something that really needs to be said. Um, because, to be honest with you, and I'm not mad or anything, but you've caused me and Eddie a lot of aggravation recently. Because in a couple of cities, when Bambi was sick, you decided to go out to the ring with Dr. Tom Pritchard. And though I'm sure that Dr. Tom Pritchard's a real nice guy and all, uh, he represents in business something that Eddie and I are completely against. And the, the, the hell that we had to put up with in the dressing room from the dirty white boy and everybody about them teasing us that old Missy Hyatt's going out and protecting Dr. Tom Pritchard. I was only doing anything what any other red-blooded woman would have done but, in but, that case. Okay, and that I can understand, and, okay, and that's something that you and Eddie have to deal with personally, and that's really none of my business, but then you go out, and you're going out, and you're signing autographs, and you're signing your poster, and you're signing your picture over there at the concession table for all these peanut farmers out there who's sitting there, and they're praying for rain. Well, where I come from, Missy, it rains every day. It rains hundred-dollar bills. And what uh, you're uh, going out, and what you're doing, is that you're signing autographs. Hey, but they like me. I can't help it they don't like you. And everybody knows you're a stooge for Eddie Gilbert. And as far as I'm concerned, if Eddie has something to talk to me about it, then, then he can come talk to me, okay? Hey, and we'll see you next week, okay? Action continues on the CWF. Lee Peak moving out against Rick Hazard. A lot of great matches we've seen so far today. A uh, big, big win for Willie B. Hurt. The situation where we see a totally different individual is what we've been seeing uh, over the past several weeks in the CWF. Well, let's be honest. For the first uh, few months that Willie B. Hurt has been in the CWF, he was uh, having a good time. I mean, you know, he was wrestling and winning and and enjoying himself, but the situation we saw with his, his son last week changed all that, and now we're seeing a man of determination. No, As we said before, no dancing and no slapping hands and no high fives. He just got into the ring and took care of business. Indeed he did, and uh, right now we're seeing a match in which Rick Hazard moves out against Lee Peak on the CWF. Still to come, that uh, very important U.S. Junior Heavyweight title match on television. Nightmare Danny Davis defends the newly won title against Nightmare Ken Wayne. That's right, we'll be seeing that. Plus, we've got that big surprise coming up. And I understand that the recipient of that surprise is just about to come into the building. Hopefully, he'll be here in a matter of moments. And later on in the program, we'll be presenting that very special award. Side headlock by Rick Hazard on Lee Peak. Clamping down with the pressure. Lee Peek, originally from the state of Alabama, says it's good to be home, to be able to wrestle in front of uh, fans from his own state and and front of some relatives, I understand. That's right. You know, Rick's been uh, in the CWF now for about seven or eight days, and he's traveled over to about five or six of the different cities, and uh, it's good to see that uh, the fans in Alabama are really taking to Rick Hansen. And uh, it's good to have Rick home, as you said. He is a world traveler. He's wrestled out in Texas, he's wrestled in the Pacific Northwest, he's wrestled up in the Northeast, and it's good to see him here in the South now and in his home state of Alabama. All right, there you see Rick Hazard going to work on Lee Peak. good kick. 
good solid kick right to the chest. Put Lee Pete down for the one, two, three. And it will be a victory for Rick Hazard from the state of Alabama. A lot more action to come. Charlie, um, I see coming from the back right now, Mr. Allen Martin and the Samoans. And maybe you can talk to them. And let's out. see if we can find out something about this situation we saw with uh, the Samoans and then Mr. Allen Martin. So let's go to ringside now to Charlie Platt for this special interview. I would like to get some comments on the situation that took place moments ago on this program. You and your wild Samoans coming out and uh, interfering with the title match. We helped out, but none of this, you can tell who the next champions will be. Oh, you think so? I know, think so, I know so. You're wonderful. I want to know something. You tell me when we had him right there in the middle. Everybody saw it. We had him right where we wanted him. We were fixing to drop the one, two, three and take our titles back. Then who gave the order for you to bring these gentlemen to the ring? I am Evan Dudley, it was you. You let me head it. No good bear Bryant looking son of a gun. What do you think about that? I've had a job. Let me tell you. Whoa. Whoa. Wait a minute. These two teams are definitely they that. Charlie, we've got a war broken out here. And I gotta tell you the truth, I'm not gonna object if they beat each other to death. It wouldn't it wouldn't make me sad at all. Powell catches that briefcase over the head and they're they're fighting all the way back to the back of the building. It's, it, it keeps on going back to the building. What what's going on between these two? I don't know, but I tell you it's interesting to see, Charlie. We we've got to get things under control here. We definitely have to do that and uh, we'll take a break and hopefully we can get things under control. you do if someone really made you feel uncomfortable? My parents told me I don't have to kiss anybody. Kids like to say no. Hey, listen to you. Easy for you to say. That's code nine, Fred. Someone who makes you feel uncomfortable, tell me you don't like it, and walk away. Yeah, that's what I would do. Walk away, and then I'd pop them in the head with this. That's another thing. If someone asks you to keep a secret you don't like, don't keep it. Tell your parents or an adult you trust. You know, Matt's right. A bad secret, not a good secret. Don't be afraid to tell. If one person doesn't hear you, tell another grown-up. Somebody will help. I bet. Right? I'll buy that. You're invited to the largest party in Central Alabama, Paradise Theater Club DD8. The club with the most gives you the best, and the best keeps getting better and better at the number one party club in the South, Paradise Theater Club DD8. This weekend, Doc plays the hottest dance mix in Club DD8, and don't miss live on stage rock in the rock room. It's the largest party in Central Alabama, Paradise Theater Club DD8, located on the Atlanta Highway, the Eastmont Plaza, Paradise Theater Club DD8. Coming to Paradise Theater September 22nd, driving and crying. Inspiration, information, glamour, success. Who do you call to get it all? I call on Essence. And how do you find the real deal on corporate fashion and sisters in soap? Diets that satisfy and my oh my. Carefree hair, career moves, building self-esteem. I call on Essence. How about being your own boss? Raising strong kids, cosmetics for self-assured style, Billy G and Mr. Lee, Alice, Oprah, Arsenio Plus, Savings of over $11 off the new stand price. I call on Essence. 
call free. And so can you. Call on Essence now, and Essence will call on you each month with free home delivery at 40% off the newsstand price. Essence, call and get it all. To order Essence, call toll-free 1-800-767-1100. Twelve issues for just $12.96. That's a savings of 46% off the newsstand price. So call now, 1-800-767-1100. That's 1-800-767-1100. I'll be the first to admit we had some very disappointing news last week from uh, you, Ron West, about signs that were levied against Paul E. Dangerously and Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert. And then they turned right around the show and did what they did. Is there any, you know, is there anything we have to add to what happened last week and about the, what I think is injustice on fines? I know, you know, that $25 fine and all this stuff. You know, you know, I want to say one thing. And, you know, checking around on contracts, uh, high schools and stuff, little Continental Wrestling come to the area. Mr. Jack Curtis did not fall through, follow through with anything. Right. So somebody bought Mr. Jack Curtis. Right. Somebody paid Jack Curtis to change those contracts around. Continental Wrestling and the fans of Continental Wrestling are not going to stand by. And now I'm very happy to say you're buying five thousand dollars. You paid him off. You paid him off. You paid Jack Curtis off. And you run it. I want to tell you, you're not going to rip Cottonell Rouse off like Jack Curtis did, and we're going to take it. Five thousand dollars. Jack Curtis is no longer in control. Jack Curtis is no longer with Cottonell Rouse. We're going to bring the best to all the fans of Cottonell Rouse. Where is that? Five thousand. Five thousand each. You, you want to bet five thousand dollars out of me? Now, because you can't buy me. I'll tell why well, I said for one thing, Continental Championship Rouses and the fans, they belong to us. And you don't care nothing about you. I don't have nothing to say. Five thousand dollars. All right. Five thousand dollars each. Fine. Levied against you for what took place on this show. I don't care. He wasn't getting anything. He's for the fans. He's for the people. Mr. D. Wood, Tom Dicker. He's for you gentlemen. I don't care about the fans. I'm coming in on TV Jim Wrestling on the CW. I didn't come here to put up with any fool. Nobody takes Paulie Dave's hard earned money or my hard earned money away from me. Nobody. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert hey, is hey, irate so is Pauly dangerously you, on what? You, you think you're going to ruin my party, huh? You think you're going to ruin my party? You think you're going to fire my pal Jack Come here, man. Come here. Come here. I'm, I'm going to show you what it's like to burst somebody's bubble. Come here, man. Come on, no big shot. Come here. You know what's going to be a big shot? I don't think that's all I've come down here for is to hey, present you. I'm going to handle this right now. I'm going to handle this because if you people think that you're going to get one over on hot stuff, you calm down. He thinks it's really be hurt. Just calm down. If you think you're going to get one over on hot stuff and call it, you're wrong. So tonight, since you want to burst our bubble, I'm going to burst Austin Idol's bubble, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the man of the year was going to be the universal heartthrob, Austin Idol. Ha, ha, ha. And if you don't like it, I, you're mad at somebody else. You're not mad. I don't know why you're going here doing that. Let me tell like you that. something, man. Austin Idol is as useless as a woman from Birmingham, Alabama. You understand what I'm saying? And as far as I'm concerned, if you want to see the men of the year, it's right there. It's Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and Paul E. Dangerously. And if you don't like it, I say the heck with you, man. Oh, man. This is this is ridiculous again. I'm all over oh, yeah. Sam Lowe is coming to hell. be out of hand. Sam Lowe is Sam Lowe is a photographer from Pro Wrestling Illustrated. He's not a wrestler. And here they go again. Last week it was a 14-year-old boy. This week it's a photographer. And look at a man that has this man is here in the CWF. He's here to present an award to the heartthrob Austin Idol. 
And just because, just because Eddie Gilbert's inside mole, Jack Curtis, uh, caught you. You were just guessing. You are just guessing. Yeah, yeah you want some of this, Say You want some of this? You go, hey, mess with me some more. I tell you what, I don't know what. I've never seen him so upset, but that doesn't call for this. No, it don't. Absolutely this is, this is no excuse. Absolutely ridiculous. We need to get some help from in the back. Oh, Sam Lowe, we need to get somebody again. out here. Sam Lowe can't even protect himself right now. I tell you what. I, I Come in. Right. Just as I thought, you don't have men in the CWF. You have 15. He said I want. Mr. Gilbert! Mr. Gilbert! I don't think they're going to put up with that. Maybe he'll I don't think they're going to. And right here he is! All right! Let's see how much of a sissy he is! Tackled by Gilbert! I know we're supposed to be unbiased, Charlie Platt, but Eddie Gilbert deserves whatever happens to him as far as I'm concerned, right here. All right, right, by Austin Idol. Put Gilbert down on the floor. And now, continuing to work on Eddie Gilbert. Eddie Gilbert is getting what he deserves, if you ask me. And the, oh, man. He is going to work on hot stuff. Eddie Gilbert fires a rifle into the head. What a... Gilbert trying to... Looks like to me Gilbert's trying to get out. Oh, catches him again. I bet Eddie Gilbert's not thinking about a system right now. the belt away from him. That can be dangerous. Now, wait a minute. Mark Powell coming in the ring. Mark Powell comes in. Here comes Danny Davis. They're trying to. It's going to take a lot more than this to separate these two. I have never seen such intense, intense emotions as we're seeing here. Now, here comes Right there, right, Freddie and Rick Hazard. Here comes Turbo Ted. It looks like the dressing rooms are emptying out to try and pull these two men apart and try and put an end to this. It's going to take it to pull these apart. Gilbert goes back over to get a shot in on Idol. They couldn't. We've got, if we're not careful, we're going to have a battle royal here. Here comes Mr. Olympia. They're trying to hold back Austin Idol and Eddie Gilbert, and they need to get Eddie Gilbert or Austin Idol one out of this arena. There they go again. They broke apart, and now the two men are battling once again. I don't think they... It might take security to get this broken up. It might take security to get this All right. settled. It and looks like they've got Eddie Gilbert out. It looks like they've got Eddie Gilbert out of the ring. It's taking about five or back in the ring. And there you see Eddie Gilbert going. Wait a minute. What is Who it? is this coming down? Gilbert Willie up. Willie D. Hurt is chasing Gilbert back to the ring. And he's in the ring. Willie D. Hurt. Hurt. Gilbert. Look at this. Hot step Eddie Gilbert is being caught by from every angle. He is getting his just reward, if you want my opinion, Joe. That's Joe. right. I think he deserves everything you've seen here tonight. Talk about being between a rock and a hard place as they were trying to get Eddie Gilbert out of the arena. Will he be hurt? Surprised everybody by coming through the door and running him right back to the ring to the waiting arms of Austin Idol. And we need to get some help out here for Sam Lowe. I'll tell you what, Hot Stuff got his just reward on that situation. And we I, are going to have to get some help for Sam Lowe. Well, what can you say about Austin Idol? Will he be hurt? I think if, if nothing else, Eddie Gilbert will never make that statement again. No, sir. Sissies rather than men. And we'll be back with more of Continental Wrestling Federation after you watch this. A message from your Shriners Hospital. You know, kids, the kitchen ain't a playground. There's a lot of danger hiding in here. That dangling cord can be a disaster. 
Especially if they grab hold and yank me. My cord should be up. Hey, you said it. Keep dangling cords out of reach. Delicious cookies can be a tempting treat. I should be over there. Keep goodies away from heat so kids don't get more than a treat. There's a lot of things in here that can burn you. Oh, By itself, it's harmless, but filled with scalding hot water. I just wait for a child to grab my handle and... <laughs> Uh-oh, a really bad brain. So to stay out of hot water, keep those pot handles turned in. Well, as you can see, a lot of big things happening in Montgomery on the 14th on a Sunday night. Uh, the Dirty White Boy and the Dirty White Girl will both be in the ring. Mixed tag action. I don't like this, Charlie Platt, I spent a lot of money. I hired some detectives to find out a little bit more about Bambi. Well, to come to find out, Bambi happens to be a professional woman wrestler. This is my valet. She is not a professional wrestler. And then Tom, okay, okay, Pritchard, you pulled one on me, buddy. Well, let me tell you something before it's all over with. <laughs> After I get through beating your brains out, then I'm gonna take pleasure in holding that woman by the goozle, baby, and slamming her brains out. Also in Montgomery on the 14th, it's a light out uh, six-man tag team war and mr martin it's going to be hard for the fans to determine who their favorites would be in this one i can't believe it okay mr martin what mr martin wants to tell everybody right now is that he himself is a capable professional wrestler that he himself can get in the ring with Sheik and coquina the savage samoan warriors and that he himself with the samoans are going to very easily take care of the di the demolition and private mark pile isn't that right mr martin I, I was going to do the man a favor. I know, you, I know you were. You see, Mr. Martin is upset, and frankly, I can't blame him, because all of our friends right now are in trouble, you might say, because everybody's trying to stack said deck against us. Big deal, Burrhead Junk, you're a legend. Hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert is the legend slayer, and we took him apart, didn't we, man, huh? You're a legend. You're a big hero coming down East Boulevard, South Boulevard to Bypass, coming into town, telling everybody he is the legend, and we took him out. You want to handcuff me to Burhead Jones, and you want to bring Austin Idol to be your special policeman, and you want to put hot stuff that he drove in the ring against Willie B. Hurt to defend his family honor. Come on down, man. You should have heard your kid squeal when Eddie hit him. And by the time we're done with you, you're going to be squealing worse than any man alive. WCOV is celebrating its 40th birthday, and you're invited. We got cases that the room hurts to it. Join the party all this year on WCOV TV, Fox Television. Before you buy your next car, you could test it like this. Or you can read Consumer Reports. Before you buy your next washer or dryer, you could test it like this. Or you can read Consumer Reports. Consumer Reports tests brand name products every day to tell you which models were worth the money and which were not. And now you can put Consumer Reports to the test with a risk-free trial issue. Consumer Reports gives you independent test results on vehicles, refrigerators, TV, Blue Jeans, auto insurance, and more. We tell you the brand names and give you the model numbers to help you get better value for your dollar. Call now for your risk-free trial issue. If you like it, pay just $22 for 11 more issues, 12 in all, plus the 1994 buying guide. Or write cancel on the bill, return it, and owe nothing. You'll also get the 1993 buying guide free with your paid subscription. Call now, 1-800-932-5333. Call now to put us to the test. Tonight, it's a brand new night of comedy on Fox. All right, turn up the volume. Starting with The Simpsons. Then, Sinbad stars as a carefree bachelor. Did you check out my butt? Who adopts two orphans. When I was 12, I could barely take care of myself. You're 35 and you can barely take care of yourself. On the series premiere of The Sinbad Show. It is. And witness the rebirth <laughs> of In Living Color. All new episodes on a new night. Followed by the season premiere of Herman's Head. It all happens on the new Fox Thursday night tonight. 
CWF joins this match in progress. It's been about 10 minutes now. Charlie Plant, what a match this has been. Danny Davis and Ken Wayne for that U.S. Junior Heavyweight title. And we're about 10 minutes into the match, and it has been back and forth. We have seen some outstanding wrestling moves, I might say, from both men. Exactly. Some surprising moves of late, we would say, from Ken Wayne. That's right, absolutely. Some very good amateur wrestling moves right. have been exhibited by Mr. Wayne. I have to give the devil his due. That's right. And right now, now look at that. There's... Oh, whoa. Oh, the turnbuckle goes out there, Ken Wayne, and down to the canvas. He's got that foot on the rope. Got the foot in Paul E. Dangerously there to make sure that the referee knows it. What a great move on the part, really, of both men right there. The advantage ending up with Danny Davis. Big suplex. Two count, and he powers out on the count of two. Nightmare Dan Davis having things going his way right now. Locks up that uh, left arm of Nightmare Ken Wayne. And what about this has been as we do join this in progress for the United States Junior Heavyweight Championship. What an hour we've had, Joe. Unbelievable action again this week here on Continental Wrestling Federation action. And you know, as the road to Birmingham gets closer and closer, I notice you've got the beautiful new Continental Heavyweight Championship belt here. And maybe uh, when we leave today, we can show it to the fans as we're leaving. Exactly. I do, I do want to say this, that during the last break, Ron West came out, uh, I might add, and had some harsh things to say about Mr. Dangerously and Mr. Gilbert, and there are going to be some possibly more than $5,000 fines. I was just going to say the comment he made that $5,000 was just a drop in the bucket, I would say bodes bad news for the Dangerous Goliath. Uh, Mr. Gilbert and Mr. Dangerously are going to have to reevaluate their plans in the CWF. I hope they have deep because they're going to need them. Right now, speaking of a dangerous alliance, the man who is obviously in that alliance now, we're talking about Nightmare Ken Wayne being uh, worked over with a pressure on the left arm by Nightmare Danny Davis. This for the United States Junior Heavyweight Championship. Danny Davis now wringing that arm out. Now, there's where Paul E. Dangerously comes into effect. I specifically saw Ken Wayne point to Paul E. Paul E. distracted the referee and then two fingers in the eyes for uh, Danny Davis. Exactly. Right now, right now, Davis cannot see. He's having a problem. Head first into that turnbuckle goes the nightmare. Danny Davis by Ken Wayne. Davis still trying to wipe his eyes and try to get his sight back. And here comes Kenny Wayne again. And again, the forehead right into that that uh, turnbuckle, which, you know, people comment to me about how they're padded, but that is pure steel under that pad. And you know, Charlie Platt, that you can feel it when you go head first into that pad. Boy, this thing is something else. We've been in this match now several, several minutes. We had to join this one in progress. U.S. Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line. Danny Davis defends against Nightmare... Ken Wayne kick oh. right to the face. Danny Davis is down. Davis is putting this beautiful United States Junior Heavyweight belt on the line. At what? Two count, he powers out. Kenny Wayne, as you can see, holding on to the tight. And every time Danny Davis kicks him out, he just pulls right back on the tight. That time, though, the referee caught him, breaking it up and making him break the hole now. Davis doesn't break until he puts a fist into the face and now a knee into the face of Danny Davis. Danny Davis and Nightmare Ken Lane going head to toe in the center of the ring. I Danny think Davis Danny Davis. back. I think he's had enough, Charlie. Indeed, he has had enough. Ken Wayne now finding the fury of Danny Davis, putting him back into those ring ropes. Now Danny Davis takes his man and he goes... Good elbow coming off the rope, down for the pin. One, two, and Ken Wayne powers out. Throws Danny Davis into the rope, comes off. He's got a small package. They're rolling around. Who is 
going to end up with this advantage in this situation. Two count. Davis, oh, shoulder smash. One, two. He comes out of it again. What a match we have seen. Shoulder smash again by Davis. Oh, now sooner or later, this is going to wear out Ken Wayne, and it's going to work. Here he goes, Roy is rolling up. up. He pulls his trunk, and look at him, he's got the trunk. He had the trunk. He had the trunk, Charlie's right, just as plain as day. We've got a new U.S. Junior Heavyweight Champion and Nightmare Ken Wayne. And our time is about gone for this edition of the CWF. We've got a new champion, Danny Davis, son in the center of the ring. Don't forget the road to Birmingham continues. Well, we know that Danny Davis has got to be extremely upset. We saw it on our cameras. Obviously, he had the tight. No doubt whatsoever that he used the tight to win that match. And unfortunately, the title belt do change hands. And we have a new, again, junior heavyweight champion. This title belt has no honor yet. The CWF Heavyweight Championship. We'll find out who that will be at the end of the road to Birmingham. For Joe Fettacino, Charlie Platt saying so long from Birmingham, Alabama. Richard. Plus, Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol is back. Then Nightmare Freddy takes on Mr. Olympia. Now we go ringside with Charlie Platt and Joe Fettacino with their special guest, a legend in his own time, Burhead Jones. Well, hello everybody. Charlie Platt along with Joe Pettacino welcoming you to the Continental Wrestling Federation coming to you from the fairgrounds in Birmingham, Alabama. Charlie, what a great hour of wrestling action is coming in the next 60 minutes. The Continental Wrestling Federation growing by leaps and bounds every day. I'd like to say hello to some new viewers over around Jackson, Mississippi and Biloxi, Mississippi. A lot of new markets coming into the CWF, including down in Louisiana. That's right, and also a new affiliate in Atlanta, Georgia, as the CWF moves to Saturday night in prime time on channel 69 in Atlanta, Georgia. I'd also like to say hello to all the folks nationwide viewing FNN, the Financial News Network at FNN Score. We're glad to be with you and certainly glad you chose the Continental Wrestling Federation. Big news coming up later in this program from our general manager, new general manager, Ron West, about some big things that have been taking place. That's right, some things that have happened and some actions that are being taken. I'd like to, uh, right now, Joe, ask a gentleman to come in here and join us for a second. He has not been active in the ring in recent years, but is known throughout not only the state of Alabama, but the United States for his days in professional wrestling. That is the one and only Burhead Jones. And we're seeing you more and more. Uh, welcome, we're seeing you uh, from time to time in the last week or so. We've seen you around some arenas here in the Continental Wrestling Federation. Yeah, Charlie, you know, I was active now, but I retired from wrestling. I was doing the time when I was wrestled. I had myself some good um, time around the wrestling business. So every chance I get, 
I'm still watching wrestling. I watch wrestling from all different channels and stuff, but the CWF is getting the best talent there is. And especially, I saw what happened to a good friend of mine. I want to do this on nationwide TV. I don't like what I see done to a good friend of mine's son, Willie B. Hurst. And I'm right here, so Willie B., any time that I can help you out in a situation like this, I'll be right here to do it because I do not like the way I see been going on with you. I've been in wrestling business for a while, but that is the lowest thing I ever see done in all my career. Very well said. Burhead Jones, glad to have you here in Birmingham for the CWF. A lot of great action on today's program. Let's get to our first match right now. the team of the Samoan Warriors, Coquina and Sika. And of course, you see at ringside, ever present, Mr. Alan Martin. Well, I find it interesting that we're now calling him Mr., but I guess that's what inheriting a suitcase full of uh, supposedly, I think it's $1,000 bills, will do for you. All of a sudden, he comes in a suit and in a, in a hat and smoking a stogie, and he's Mr. Alan Martin now. But uh, let's face it, he is managing two of the biggest, meanest, nastiest people in professional wrestling today in the Samoan. I couldn't have said that better myself, Joe Pettacino. Uh, the Samoan Warriors, of course, are uh, one of the most dangerous uh, teams in professional wrestling in the world, known worldwide, and they are just uh, destroying their two opponents, Lee Peek and Mike Starr. Well, and if you notice, all four men are in the ring. The referee, at this point, has not been able to even get uh, two of the men out of the ring, and he keeps trying to get uh, one of the Samoans out, but they're just not paying any attention. And here you see, here's a close-up from our cameraman right over our shoulders as uh, some work there on Mike Starr. Now oh. Lee Peek out over the top rope as Kikino throws Lee Peek out over the top rope. In the meantime, in the ring, Alan Martin using that briefcase out on the floor. Now look at this. this. There's that what big splash. A, now that's devastation right there. One man holding the uh, opponent down while Kakino, this big monster, and he's going to do it again. That's, they could count to 100, Charlie. It, it's over. <laughs> man, is it over for... Mike Starr, Lee Peek, all but out of it on the floor, and your winners, the Samoan Warriors. And look at this now, Alan Martin saying, do it one more time. Oh, it's that double headbutt. Now Alan Martin is saying, wait a minute, that's enough. Uh, Charlie, I can't believe how he's got these men under control. He told them to get out of the ring, and, and they just got out of the ring. He certainly does have them well under control. Uh, I'd like to get a word with Alan Martin about his... Uh, the newfound uh, profession is managing these uh, Samoans. But right now, the CWF going on tour. Here's some important news about your area. Dear Mrs. Coleman, you don't know me, but I know you know my old red house at the end of the lane. Please forgive me for tracking you down, but I had to thank you. I'm not sure what inspired your kindness. Oh, it's a godsend. Since my wretched hip surgery, just getting to the end of the lane and back takes nearly half an hour, and sometimes the pain just isn't worth it. You brought me something much more important than newspapers. You brought me the understanding that it's the small, the simple things that really help people. If you're doing just a little, you're helping a lot. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He refers to himself as Mr. Alan Martin. Money in the briefcase, recent inheritance. Oh, Lord, it's Charlie, good. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Have you noticed, my men, they just destroyed two wrestlers. Two good professional wrestlers destroyed. The poor men didn't even have a chance. It's just like all the other tag teams right here just matters and matters of time where we're going.
going to be the tag champions, Charlie. Speaking of the other tag teams around this area, you've got, of course, the tag team champions, humongous Shane Douglas. Are you no. concentrating on the titles or the situation with Demolition and D.I.? Well, the tag titles don't concern me, Charlie, because we're going to win them anyway. It don't matter. And, and D.I., I know what's wrong with you, son. You're just jealous. I've always been a better wrestler than, than D.I. I've been a, I'm a better man. I got more money. He's just jealous, Charlie. Okay, Mr. Allen Martin. Uh, 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 wow, the Mullen team. We seem to have very much control over these two uh, Samoan warriors. Right now, I'd like to bring in a guy who's always a pleasure to introduce to you, and it's a pleasure to see each and every time I get the chance to talk to you. He's the founder and president of the King's Ranch for boys and girls throughout the state of Alabama. We're talking about Tom Owens. What's happening, Tom? Well, Charlie, I've got a, uh, an important announcement to make. A lot of the folks may have already heard, but the King's Ranch now has 20 homes in and 10 different locations around Alabama. And we really appreciate the support of the uh, Continental Wrestling Federation and, and uh, all my friends here. And I appreciate the support of the fans. Uh, we've just taken over a boys' home in Tuscaloosa, and so we now have uh, 20 more boys to take care of and we appreciate your support and if anybody would like to be involved in, in helping to provide for a child the uh the address is simply king's ranch chelsea alabama 35043 and charlie we do appreciate your support and if ever any one of you in this building or nationwide want to be a part of something very great i can say without any shadow of a doubt tom owen and the king's ranch for boys and girls in the state of alabama you can't go wrong. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more of the CWF right after this. the largest party in Central Alabama, Paradise Theater's Club DV8. The club with the most gives you the best, and the best keeps getting better and better at the number one party club in the South, Paradise Theater Club DV8. This weekend, Doc plays the hottest dance mix in Club DV8, and don't miss live on stage rock in the rock room. It's the largest party in Central Alabama, Paradise Theater Club DV8, located on the Atlanta Highway, the East Park Plaza, Paradise Theater Club DV8. Coming to Paradise Theater, September 22nd, driving and crying. Page 355. Medications that can rob you of your sex life. Page 141. The secret ingredient in Italian food that can help lower cholesterol. Page 545. How to silence a snorer. This incredible book belongs in every home. The doctor's book of home remedies. From the editors of Prevention Magazine Health Book. Over 670 pages of astonishing home remedies. All scientifically proven. Yours free for three full weeks. Page 341. Why you should never buy color toilet paper. Now the information you need to cure over 130 common health problems is always on hand. Act now and you'll also get this fabulous book, Meals That Heal, free. Page 497. Use oatmeal to end the itch of poison ivy. Page 570. Call now to get the doctor's book of home remedies free for three weeks. Keep it and we'll bill you in four easy installments of only $6.99. Call now, 1-800-367-7555. A religious extremist. You want nothing less than to destroy us. Sets off a wave of terror. I understand my duty to defend the Bajoran faith. A whole war that could divide the station. I think I've given you all the support I can, short of... It's not enough and bring the Federation to its knees. We are neither the enemy nor the devil. We'll see. Next time on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Tonight at 9 on WCOV-TV.
it is a great privilege and pleasure to introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen, the new general manager of the Continental Wrestling Federation, a familiar face, Ronnie West. Did Ron? Charlie, I say, I'm happy to be back home, but one thing's happened in the CWL. We started out with low fines. I can't believe what happened to the official. Then it went from the official to Willie B. Hurt's son. Then it went from Willie B. Hurt's son to Sam Lowe. The man comes out here to give a ward out. Then he's looking at you. He's looking at me. And I have to say, it happened to me in Columbus, Mississippi. It happened to me in Dauphin, Alabama. He got to me. But only thing I can say to Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and Paul E. Danger, watch out. That's, uh... Watch out, because I, you know, things have happened. These great fans here are backing CWF, and I tell you what, I'm not going to let people run over me and the fans of Continental Wrestling. They better watch out. Charlie, you know, things have been a little, you might say, out of hand with the Dangerous Alliance, but I have seen before what happens when Ron West takes charge. And I think maybe this would be a good time to go back and show some of those incidents and remind everybody of just how serious it's gotten. And what you're about to see is four different incidents that have caused these problems of recent in the Continental Wrestling Federation. Let's take a look at those right now. Now, Nightmare Ken Wayne is uh, <laughs> wondering, what am I doing here in this situation? Snapmare takedown by the AWA World right. Heavyweight Champion. Jerry Lawler, and he begins to pound away at the head of Ken Wayne. Right now, Ken Wayne is probably wishing he had left this alone and waited for those tights and belts. There comes the famous Lawler punch, and just Eddie Gilbert has hit the ring. What is he doing? He's got... He oh, fired the referee! What? He was obviously aiming for Jerry Lawler, what but the is, referee got in the happened? way. Eddie, Eddie Gilbert happened? has burned an official of the CWF. What? Right in the middle of the ring. He's got him in position. Dangerous, now dangerously has pulled the referee out of the ring. What in the dangerously world? is stomping on the referee. What in the world is going Jerry on? Jerry Lawler is screaming his head off. Austin Idol has got the Las Vegas leg lock. Wait a minute. Eddie Gilbert is in the ring. Eddie Gilbert. And they've thrown fire. They've burned Austin Idol. They've burned Austin Idol on the shoulder and on the side of the head. Lord, Austin Eddie Idol. Gilbert. Austin Idol should be the new AWA world champion. He had Jerry Lawler in a figure four leg lock. Paul dangerously drugged the referee out of the ring. Eddie Gilbert came in and threw fire into the face and shoulder of Austin Idol. Hey, 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 shut up. Hey, hey, little Will, listen. Just roll with this one, okay? You know how dumb your dad is? Okay, how dumb is he, okay? Hey, I'm talking to you, man. To I'm not you. Don't make me look stupid, okay? <laughs> Hold on. Don't make me look stupid. I'm serious, man. I'm trying to be funny, okay? All right, one more time. You know how stupid your dad is? I think we've had about enough. Let me ask you a question. Which one of them fine-looking ladies that you dead and drove around in happens to be your mama, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. This is, this is ridiculous again. I'm all over oh, yeah. Sam Lowe is coming to be out of hand. Sam Lowe is Sam Lowe is a photographer from Pro Wrestling Illustrated. He's not a wrestler. And here they go again. Last week it was a 14-year-old boy. This week it's a photographer. And look at a man that had... This man is here in the CWF. He's here to present an award to the heartthrob Austin Idol just because, just because Eddie Gilbert's inside mole, Jack Curtis, uh, got caught. You, you're just joking. You're just joking. Well, they heard the warning Ready, and the word Ready from the Ron show. West. Huh? And uh, the, the Alliance show. has come out here to join us for some reason or another. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for everybody's favorite game show, Wheel of Legend Slayer. And today's contestant is none other than the legend of Montgomery and Birmingham himself, Burhead Jones. 
Burhead Jones, come on down now, and meet wait, the legend player. Wait a minute. No, no, no. It's a game just, show. We're here to have fun. Ain't no Willie B's kid. Ain't nothing gonna happen. You just I'm here. remember. I want to come here. Come here. Come here. I remember. I heard what Ron West said. There, Eddie's over there. Eddie's over right, there. You just remember what Ron West come said. Here. There's not gonna be any more of that. No more violence. Come here. You know, two weeks ago I came out here and a kid hit me and he had to get decked. Another week I come out here and a photographer hit me and he had to get beat up. Tonight, I want no violence. Tonight I'm here to let you play Reel of Legend Slayer. You see, Burhead, I know you're a legend. But you see, your problem is, man, you got a big mouth. You got a big mouth to you come out here on TV and you say that Eddie Gilbert and I had no business making around a 14-year-old kid. Well, if you would have heard that kid squeal like his daddy squeals whenever Eddie beats him up, you know that the punk had it coming. And all Eddie was doing was tipping the little brat up. Now, you want to do it? You have a treat, because the Legend Slayer is going to confront you himself. Come on. I suggest you remember the warning, too. I, re I remember everything that's ever been told to me. You know, sir, it's indeed a great pleasure to once again have him sold upon hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert, another great legend of the CWF, a person who made a name in this area, a person, Jenny Montgomery, Alabama, that means as much as the mayor there, a man in the state of Alabama means as much as the governor. I'm talking about Burhead Jones. But old man, you listen to the new legend. You listen to the new man, the new boss of wrestling, Hunt Stuff Eddie Gilbert. I've seen them come, I've seen them go, and old man, you're just another, you're nothing. Wait a minute. Look at him. He's nothing. Oh. No. Wait a minute. They warned him, Charlie. Listen. Wait a minute. He's, he's been out of wrestling. There's your legend. This is ridiculous. Charlie oh, Platt, this is exactly the type thing that Ron West said would not happen and couldn't happen anymore. And look at this. Burhead Jones this has been crazy. retired from Three wrestling. Years. And yes. some of the wrestlers are coming from the back. Turbo Ted comes out. He hits the floor. Now it's uh, Lee Peak, I believe, coming out over the top rope. He goes. This is... Now, wait yeah. a minute. This pile drive, Burhead Jones. This oh. man, he's retired from the ring. Oh. He hasn't wrestled in years. Oh, my gosh. Burhead has no business. And now they're just sitting on him. This is a crowd. Here comes Willie B. Hurt. Willie B. Hurt chasing him off and now taking care. about they jumped him. Eddie Gilbert! Eddie Gilbert! What kind of person are you? Oh, Eddie Gilbert, are you a fan? Fan, a fan! Fan! Charlie, we better try and get Burhead out of here. Please. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we'll, we'll, you need to get him out of here. We'll be back with more in just a moment. And now, a message from the Charlie Kid Earthquake Team. He looks like a monster from the Ice Age. He was around then and he still is now. Tom Brave and Susan Swift in East Africa for Adventure Earth Crew. 
a mission by the children of the planet to seek out and help protect the animals of the Earth. The giant rhinoceros is really gentle. He's the second biggest land animal on Earth, next to the elephant. And like the elephant, he's a plant eater. But people hunt rhinos with their horns. They think they're magic, and they make them into nice animals. So today, in Africa, rhinos are protected by armed guards. In the ice age, the rhino owned this planet. But today, there are only a few of them left. They're living history, and we can't afford to lose them. An urgent Earth to alert. Well, this is it, the weekend. This Sunday at the Montgomery Civic Center, the biggest revenge match in the history of Montgomery. Willie B. Hurt goes against hot stuff Eddie Gilbert and some very special stipulations on this match. With me now, Burhead Jones, who uh, last uh, weekend at the Montgomery Civic Center felt the wrath of the Dangerous Alliance. You have offered your services to be handcuffed to Paulie Dangerously. You're right about that. I would like to get my hand on that constipated rabbit. He's running around that ring like a constipated. I want to be handcuffed to him to help this man serve because the last time we'll tell people no. Hot stuff coming with that shovel. That's unrolling. But I tell you one thing, I just want him to make one move because I'm going to whip the constipated out of him. When I finish with him, he ain't going to be constipated no more. All right, Willie B., it's a big night for you this Sunday. Eddie Gilbert, it's me and you. And guess who's going to be outside? That's right, the man making this walk around this circle. None other than Austin Idol. It's going to be the referee, but he's going to be outside the ring. That's right. Well, it ain't going to be in there but me and you, sucker. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to whoop that butt all night long. Take it care of business. Let him know, Idol. Let him know. Ryan hey, West is special Fire referee up. inside the Montgomery. Ring. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to pull the shirt back out one time. I'm going to referee that match and outside will be the policeman. It looks like a one-man SWAT team. There ain't no question about it. Let's say it just like it is. The city of Montgomery, Alabama is fastly making history every other Sunday night. And tomorrow night is going to be part of more history. And I'm going to be part of it. Because I'm going to be outside that ring, Gilbert. Eddie the Geek Gilbert. And any time you come out, Jack, this is what you're going to have to face right here. Throw him out to me, Willie B. And I'll send him back in, Jack, twice as fast. Your butt belongs to both of us. WCOB is celebrating its 40th birthday, and you're invited. We got cases that the loons won't do it. Join the party all this year on WCOB TV Fox Television. <laughs> He's an American classic, a comedy legend, the famous San Diego Chicken. The funniest, craziest, and one of the most beloved comics ever. And now for the first time on video, it's the chicken's greatest bit. If you love to laugh, here's the tape you gotta have. It's one hilarious routine after another. Part of the act of his outrageous live performances. More than 55 million people have seen the chicken in person in all 50 states and around the world. But the chicken's home video is not in stores. This is a limited time television offer. The comedy tape of the year. Yes, everybody loves the chicken. Well, almost everybody. Here's how to order now. To order your copy of the Chicken's Greatest Bits video, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-762-0500 or send 1995 plus 450 shipping to the Chicken video. P.O. Box 2818, Grand Central Station, New York, New York. Order now. As a naval intelligence officer, he worked out. Good man, Williams. When he studied for his degree in engineering, he worked out. For a sound body and mind. As a motivational speaker to millions of kids, he worked out. The kid is in there like swim with. And now, as one of the country's most popular talk show hosts, he worked out. Can you, can you answer one I'm question gonna... with a direct answer? Talk show host. Now, that's a workout. Montel Williams, a cool head for hot talk. The Montel Williams Show.
More action on the CWF as we continue. It's Private Mark Powell moving out against Rick Hazard, uh, originally from the state of Alabama. And I'm still, uh, well, I've never seen Ronnie West so mad about that. Yeah. Little, uh, what, what, what are these two, what do they think they're? Charlie, I don't know, but let's look. Let's just think about something. That had to be premeditated. When they came out here, they knew they were going to do that. They called Burhead Jones down here. They taunted him. They set him up. And then they sprung their trap, and we saw what happened. Exactly. You know, these two, uh, it's, it's easy to see why they called them the Dangerous Alliance. And it's also easy for me to see that they're fixing to run in possibly to a brick wall with Ron West. That's right. Ron West is not going to put up with this. He's not like Jack Curtis. He, he, he's not going to put up with this and hand out small fines. I promise you that Ron West, I'm like you, I've never seen him as mad as he was just a couple of seconds ago. And it's just, you know, it's unfortunate that that's what it's going to take, but he's mad enough now that I think there's going to be some real strong action well, taken. In the last, what, three weeks now, we're dealing right. with incident number three. That's right. That's right. And, uh, all right, in the ring, Rick Hazard has private pile and a sleeper. The private able, though, to get away. But now, wait a minute. Take what a look at what's going on at ringside. What are these guys doing down here? Alan Martin has brought the Samoans. They're in the ring. And they're they, attacking private pile. They are going after pile. Double headbutt by Sika and Coquina, the Samoan. Rick Hazard standing back watching, wondering what to do. But if that was Rick the Hazard, question's going to be answered for him. There he goes. It was, now, why are the Samoans attacking Private Pile? There, there's that devastating splash that we saw. Here it comes again. Here comes the DI and demolition. And it looks like we've got all-scale war in the ring. It's certainly breaking out now. The DI destroyed demolition. Here comes uh, clearing now those. Look at this. Alan Martin taking the Samoans, telling them to get out of the ring. And again, they follow his instructions. They get out of the ring, and now they're leaving. Obviously, Alan Martin planned this whole thing. He has achieved what he wanted. He has injured Private Pyle. And now he is taking his Samoans out of the ring, leaving standing in the ring, Demolition and the DI. I tell you what, it's, uh, it is an interesting situation we have forming here. And uh, I tell you what, we'll be back with more of the Continental Wrestling Federation after you watch this. Before you buy your next car, you could test it like this. Or you can read consumer reports. Before you buy your next washer or dryer, you could test it like this. Or you can read consumer reports. Consumer reports test brand name products every day to tell you which models were worth the money and which were not. And now you can put consumer reports to the test with a risk-free trial issue. Consumer reports give you independent test results on vehicles, refrigerators, TV, Blue Jeans, auto insurance, and more. We tell you the brand names and give you the model numbers to help you get better value for your dollar. Call now for your risk-free trial issue. If you like it, pay just $22 for 11 more issues, 12 in all, plus the 1994 buying guide. Or write cancel on the bill, return it, and owe nothing. You'll also get the 1993 buying guide free with your paid subscription. Call now, 1-800-932-5333. Call now to put us to the test. Tonight, when Briscoe goes south of the border, he makes a new enemy. Sorry, I tried to kill you. It seemed like such a good idea at the time. Don't sweat it. And runs into an old flame. There's a fire. I know. No, in the fire. The Adventures of Briscoe County Jr. <coughs> an all-new episode tonight at 8, 7 Central. While you're watching TV, will your TV be watching you? The TV system of the future is really going to be a surveillance tool. Front page investigates Saturday after COP. With me right now, co-holder of the CWF tag titles along with the Lord Humongous, this is Shane Douglas. 
Jackson changed. I, I hesitate. Woo! I hesitate to comment what is happening in the CWF as far as tag team action is concerned. That's right, Charlie Platt. Take a look around you. Ain't it great to be alive in Birmingham, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, this is where it all took place. I'm sure you all know. When Lord Humongous and I won the Continental Wrestling Federation Tag Team titles. Yeah. And this is also where it took place, Charlie, and we had a couple of people come down here when Lord Humongous and I were trying to do an interview right here in this very spot. When four people, the Wild Samoans, Demolition, D.I., make that five when you include that stooge pile. And I let you know, I'm not real happy about it, but more importantly, you four or five stooges, Lord Humongous ain't happy about it. That's right, the biggest man in professional wrestling isn't happy about it, and I'm telling you, when he gets his hands on you, and when I get my hands on you, there's going to be some due paying here in the Continental Wrestling Federation. It was a certainly explosive incident, Shane, and uh, I dare to speculate with uh, all the commotion you've just seen. Now the Samoans are at the throat of Demolition and D.I. What is going to happen with Tag Team Wrestling here in the Continental Wrestling Federation? It's time for our next match featuring the Dr. Tom Pritchard. Let's go to that right now. from the state of Texas, the Dr. Tom Pritchard. Tom Pritchard moving out. Charlie, this ought to be an outstanding match. Young Bucky Siegler taking on Dr. Tom Pritchard. And uh, two good-looking young men here. Could be quite a match. Well, I, I tell you what, I've, great scientific match in the making here. I, I've certainly have seen both of these two individuals in action before. My mind keeps wandering back to what we've seen already with Hot Stuff, Eddie Gilbert, Paulie, Dangerously, and even this, uh, what is happening with tag teams here? Well, I don't know. It's like uh, you don't know who is going to turn on who. We just saw uh, two of the most notorious rule-breaking tag teams in the CWF fighting it out with one another. And then, of course, you had Shane Douglas here. He and Lord Humongous are the tag team champions. Both of those teams have to be going after them. So uh, it's almost like a power triangle with the tag team belts at the top. But you don't know who's going to be facing who on any given night. Exactly right, Joe. And, uh, you know, a, refre a breath of refreshment when Tom Owens came out a few minutes ago. Certainly a good friend of ours. Absolutely. And uh, great cause. The boys and girls, uh, Kings boys and girls ranches throughout the state of Alabama which makes me uh, want to remind the fans that if they have a club or a civic organization anywhere where they're viewing the CWF and the area of the CWF television coverage, and they would like to uh, raise funds for this club or civic organization, uh, all they have to do is uh, get the proper information to us, a proper request to us, and uh, I'm sure that uh, all that information will be on their screen momentarily. And uh, CWF is one of the best fundraisers anywhere. That's right. Professional wrestling is known across the country as one of the best fundraisers available. And the CWF is fastly becoming the best. And if you have a not-for-profit or a non-profit organization that you would like to use, have a fundraiser for, get in touch with the CWF and bring CWF wrestling into your hometown. And you can see the kind of action we're seeing right here as Dr. Tom Richard defeats Bucky Ziegler in a very good match. He did it with a kick. Your winner from Houston, Texas, the Dr. Tom Pritchard. As we promised you a new feature on the CWF we're certainly proud of, and that is with Missy Hyatt. It's called Missy Manor, and let's go to that right now. I'm Missy Hyatt, and this oh, is Missy Manor. Oh, And my money, as long as I got it. That's why I don't mind turning around. Look at them. They're big and huge and bad. And they'll do anything that I ask them to help me and what I say to them. 
So are you saying that really somebody died and, and, and you're really carrying this around? I mean, that's, that's not too smart. Yeah, Uncle Elmer's died. Uncle uh, Elmer? Yes, God rest his soul. Hey. Uh, okay, well, thank you very much. I'm glad we got to clear wait, that wait, up. Wait, 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 wait. What? I want to do something that I've always, always wanted to do. Grab her, guys. Somebody, I got up at this time when I show up. Come here, baby. Sunday, Kenneth Copeland opens the living word. You need to go in the Word and find that promise for yourself and stay in it until it becomes God speaking to you and the hope of God rises up on the inside of you. And the rest of it is a walk in the park, brother. Huh? Because you've hooked your faith to the living Word of God. It becomes the living Word. The Living Word, a special series with Kenneth Copeland, Sunday on the Believer's Voice of Victory. That's a great-looking camera you have. Where'd you get it? No, don't tell me. One of those specialty camera shops. Wait, I'll bet it's a big-name department store. I'll bet it sets you back a bundle. Actually, no. Introducing the Nippon 35mm focus-free camera. The hot shoe is synchronized for electronic flash, a 50mm lens, and a tripod mount. It also comes with a convenient neck strap, a deluxe leatherette carrying case, a professional 50mm sunshade, and a two-year unlimited warranty. With all these features, you'd think this camera would cost over $100. Well, think again. Call right now, and the first 10,000 customers who order the Nippon camera will also get 100 rolls of free Kodak film with purchase processing. The simple, lightweight, and affordable Nippon 35mm camera and 100 rolls of free Kodak film with purchase processing. This no-fuss camera can be yours for only $19.95. Say, hey, where can I get one? Just pick up the phone and call. Next on a different world is Whitley All Talk. The mouth of the South. That's what she is, a mouth of the South. Baby, don't take it personally. It's just that you have the gift of gab. They're jealous. So you think I can't keep my mouth shut? Not to save your life. <laughs> okay, I'll make you a bet. Oh, baby. I will keep my mouth shut for a whole day. Is it mum's the word for Whitley? Hey, Whit. What do you say? <laughs> Today, after Full House on WCLB TV. Few minutes on the CW. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Everybody knows who I am, and everybody knows what you, Eddie Gilbert, have done. You have hurt my boy, and now you have went out here and disgraced yourself by fathering and hurting a legend right here, Barry Joe. Well, let me tell you something, Eddie Gilbert. I ain't got to be pretty. I ain't got to be nasty. 
Sunday night in Montgomery, Alabama. A lot of things taking place in the CWF. And Monday, uh, this coming Sunday, of course, we'll have a tape this match. You have a CWF tag title match. You'll also be having a six-man all-out war, plus mixed tag action. A lot of big things happening. What's on everyone's mind is hot stuff Eddie Gilbert against Willie B. Hurt in this revenge match with you handcuffed to Burhead Jones, Ron West, the referee, and the Universal Heartthrob policing the ring. 
What a joke this is all, man, huh? You know, I mean, it has to be a joke when Burhead Jones comes out here and calls Paul E. Dangerously a constipated rabbit. Of course, you know nothing about constipation, man, because Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert took a shovel and knocked you know what out of you last time, didn't we, huh? Then we come out, and Willie B. Hurt involves himself in our business again, doesn't he? We already renamed Burhead Rughead, and now you come out and think that you're better than everybody else that can do what no man has ever done in professional wrestling, and that's stop the dangerous alliance. So now you go to the CWF, and you get Ron West, a guy who hates our guts because he couldn't do anything about us, and you get him to be the referee. Then you get the universal heartthrob Austin Idol to be the quote-unquote policeman outside the ring. And you think that if that's not all, then you handcuff me to this jerk, Burhead Jones. And now you think you got hot stuff in the in a place where he can't escape. Where this time, Willie B is finally going to get revenge for his 14-year-old punk kid that he left out on TV with vultures like us around. I said it before, I'll say it again, Willie B. It was a mistake. It was an accident. It shouldn't have happened. But you're taking it further than we wanted to go. You're making it worse than it actually has to be. And since you want revenge, this time we're going to have to teach you a lesson. Just like we taught Idol, just like we taught Burhead. And coming this Sunday, man, this is a to you. Inspiration, information, glamour, success. Who do you call to get it all? I call an essence. And how do you find the real deal on corporate fashion and sisters in soap? Diets that satisfy and my oh my. Carefree hair, career moves, building self-esteem. I call on S. How about being your own boss? Raising strong kids, cosmetics for self-assured style, Billy G and Mr. Lee, Alice, Oprah, Arsenio Plus, savings of over $11 off the new stand price. I call on Essence. All free. And so can you. Call on Essence now, and Essence will call on you each month with free home delivery at 40% off the new stand price. Essence, call and get it all. To order Essence, call toll-free 1-800-767-1100. 12 issues for just $12.96. That's a savings of 46% off the new stand price. So call now, 1-800-767-1100. That's 1-800-767-1100. Night Court has sprung a leak. That's a recess! Now, Dan's making plans for a midnight rendezvous. Faye and I have been systematically doing the nasty in every room in the building. Look, sir, your office has been circled five times. He's hoping to score in uncharted territory. But when another man arrives before him... You're supposed to meet me here in 15 minutes. Well, I'll be down by then. Will Dan have to take a number? Night Court. Friday at 6.30 on WCOV-TV. Robert Redford, Susan Sarandon, from the creators of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kids. You're not a bad sort, but you're dangerous. He's the greatest pilot who ever lived. If the war going on a little longer, you might have proved that to everyone. Now he's got his chance to prove it. I can do that. To see if he really does have the right stuff. It's the greatest adventure of the great Waldo Pepper. Saturday at noon on WCLV-TV. Our feature match today on the CWF is Mr. Olympia, Jerry Stubbs, taking on Nightmare Freddy. That'll be coming up momentarily, and this is uh, something you've been faced with in recent weeks. Well, you know, Charlie, I want to talk about one thing. You know, a lot of people don't realize, but I've come to believe that Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and Paul E. Dangerously, you know, they got together. I was getting close to getting $25,000, and they know it. So I was getting close. So what they did, uh, they got a lot. They just starting a reunion out there. They getting anybody they can, and they they've got this nightmare, Freddie, to try to stay in my way. Hey, and you got something to do with it? What are you doing down here? This is my interview. Yeah, of course. So your interview, nothing. I don't do what I feel like it. Shut up. Why don't you tell you, you shut something? Up. I ain't got to do nothing. Let me tell you something, Jerry Stubbs. Thought you were a Superman. Well, you know you don't have that mask on right now. You know, you're nothing without it, and you're nothing with it, baby. You've never been nothing. You are nothing. You're not even a has-been. You're a never was, baby. Believe me when I tell you. Get in the ring and get with Freddie. Nightmare Freddie College. Mr. Olympia, Jerry Stubbs has gone into the ring. 
And the referee has called for the bell. Our feature match is underway. But it's, uh, it looks to me like Jerry Stubbs can be just as mean and ornery as Mr. Olympia. Out through the ropes go Nightmare Freddy. Kenny Wayne with the Mr. Olympia mask in hand. And uh, he didn't even have a chance to put that mask on. And that's that is right. uh, that is part. Uh, he wrestles with that mask on. and uh, That's mm -hmm. right. He don't have his mask on because I got it. Uh, good forearms. Uh, elbows being dropped to the back of the neck by Nightmare Freddy. Into the ring ropes. Good elbow coming off the ropes. And Mr. Olympia, Jerry Stubbs, two count, and he powers out. Night. Pretty great or what, man? Well, I'll, vo I'll vote for what. How about you, Charlie? For what? Yeah, that's, it's unanimous. Right now, Freddie has the upper hand on Jerry Stubbs. He comes down once two again, count. a two count. And uh, where did this nightmare Freddie come from anyway, Ken Wayne? <laughs> he came from Elm Street. Where do you think, baby? And right Freddy, now, Freddie has in his heart what a true nightmare has. That's the old nightmare mask. We were winners. We've always been winners. And Freddie, my friend, is a winner. That uh, remains to be seen in my book. I don't know about you, Joe. Right now, it is Nightmare Freddie with the upper hand on Jerry Stubbs as he begins to put the boots to the midsection. Stubbs down on that bottom turnbuckle and uh, certainly needs to group himself and come out of this. Well, right now, Nightmare Freddie using the boot to choke. I guess we're going to call him Jerry Stubbs since he's not wearing the mask. The mask is in the hands of that man right there, Ken Wayne. And Jerry Stubbs now fighting back out of the corner. There's a headbutt, mask or no mask. He must have a hard head, Charlie. Exactly. Into the turnbuckle goes Nightmare Freddy. Hard, good forearm coming off of the, of the turnbuckle. Nightmare Freddy, good reversal on his part. Chucks his man. There's that flying big, forearm. Big flying elbow. There's your three count. It is well, over. Your winner is Jerry Stubbs. Right. Right. Ken Wayne attacks from behind, but he gets caught. And then, not, now wait a minute. W what is this now? He's loading that glove. Ken Wayne is putting something in the glove, and he's telling Nightmare Freddy to go for the claw. And there it is. That's the what he claw does. on the face of Jerry Stubbs, and he's pressuring it in. Ken Wayne pushing the referee away. It's two on one situation out here. Nightmare Ken Wayne and Nightmare Freddy going after Jerry Stubbs, uh, Mr. Olympia. Look how he's got that claw clamped on. He is not relinquishing that thing either. He is not relinquishing that to you know, This could cause tremendous damage if not if it keeps up. He's what? got I, I see crimson on the face of Jerry Stubbs. His face is becoming a mask of prison. Here comes Danny Davis. Now Davis goes after Ken Wayne, and there comes the nightmare again. Right on the top now, of They're going to do it to Danny Davis now. And There's the claw on Danny Davis. Will we see? Will we see blood from the face now of Danny Davis? Obviously, when Nightmare Freddy loads that club, wait a minute, here comes the Calvary. Pritchard comes in along with Rick Hazard, breaks this up. But in the ring right now, you have uh, with a gash opened in his head by whatever was loaded in that club, Joe. Well, Jerry Stubbs uh, certainly feeling the effect of Nightmare Freddy and, uh, of course, uh, Nightmare Ken. Well, we, we knew that Nightmare Freddy was, of course, able to use that claw in such a way to do damage. But obviously, when they load the glove the way we just saw, this is the result. We see a crimson mask on the face of Mr. Uh, Olympia. All right, That's I not what, the mask we're used to seeing. Exactly. Joe Pettacino, I'd like to thank all the folks for joining us throughout the CWF network on FNN all over the country. And uh, certainly next week we hope to have some answers to the situation that's taking place here today with Burnhead Jones and the other incidents that we have seen in the last hour. It's been an action-packed hour. I can't wait to hear next week from Ron West about this situation with the Dangerous Alliance. And I have a feeling, looking up into the ring, that we'll also hear some words from Mr. Olympia about Nightmare Freddy. For Joe Pettacino, Charlie Platt saying so on from the CWF in Birmingham, Alabama.
Captain Drew Marr and the United States Marshal. And once again, having sold a part high stuff, Eddie Gilbert, another great legend sure. of the CWL, a person who made a name in this area, a person in Montgomery, Alabama, that means as much as the mayor there, a man in the state of Alabama means as much as the governor. I'm talking about Burhead Jones. But old man, you listen to the new legend. You listen to the new man, the new boss of wrestling, Hunt Stuff Eddie Gilbert. I've seen him come, I've seen him go. And old man, you're just another, you're nothing. Wait a minute. Oh. No, no, This is. Now, wait a minute. They're going to pile drive Burhead Jones. This oh. man, he's retired from the ring. He hasn't wrestled in years. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to the Continental Wrestling Federation. Today, we'll see action from Detroit Demolition, the D.I. Bob Carter, and Private Pile. Also, Lord Humongous and Shane Douglas are scheduled to defend their CWF Tag Team title against the Samoan Warriors. We'll see the Dirty White Boy in action. A tag team match featuring Nightmare Freddy and Nightmare Ken Wayne. Then a big match with action from Nightmare Danny Davis. All this and more today on the Continental Wrestling Federation. Now we go ringside with Charlie Platt and Joe Pettacino. Well, hello everybody. Charlie Platt along with Joe Pettacino and Ron West. Welcome back to the CWF from the Birmingham, Alabama Fairground Arena. Charlie, we have 60 minutes of exciting CWF action coming your way. And the next hour, some of the most exciting and top wrestling stars in the country today, right here in the CWF, Ron West here to tell us about some very special things going on. This guy is acting like it's Christmas afternoon and he's already opened his Christmas present. Hey, I'm happy. The road is Birmingham is coming down. The date has been set now. It's going to be Monday night, October the 3rd. Let me tell you why it's changed. We had some people like Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert, Paul E. They went out. They had all these contracts changed around. They knew these people, that these top contenders, wasn't able to be here. So we changed that date. On that date, we're going to have such people here as a person by the bad to the bone, oh. the bullet. All right. He's in the road to Birmingham, top ten. And, and now, wait a minute. I have heard a rumor. Charlie and I were talking about it before the cameras went on. We understand that there will be a special referee for the final match in the road to Birmingham in which the CWF champion will be named. Can you tell us who that is? Can you confirm it? Well, I'm happy to say, everybody talks about legends and all this stuff. A legend in the Birmingham area is the original Tennessee stud, Ron Fuller. And Ron Fuller will be the special referee. That's right. I, I'm, I'm so happy. I know we can't wait to get these matches started, but I will be back to before this hour is over for a special announcement. Okay, well, a special announcement. Uh, C. Ron West is happy, and then again, he is still perturbed over last week's event and the weeks before that with Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and Paulie Dangerously. A lot of great action coming away in the next hour on the CWF. Let's go to the ring for our first match of the day. His way to ringside, the D.I. Bob Carter and, of course, Private Powell standing at attention. But in the ring, it is Detroit Demolition. Tell him. Look at this. Look at this fantastic wrestling maneuver by Detroit Demolition. I see nothing whatsoever as far as wrestling is. I know the definition. Now brawling to me, Charlie Platt. And right now we're seeing this big monster of a man in the ring. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. That's music. That's music. Look at him playing spin music. Oh! Charlie, do you notice the uh, new look of the D.I. and Private Pile with the camouflage and the... Tell, uh, tell him that we're retiring the drill instructor's hat. It's combat time! 
Tell him, Demo! Do it, Demo! Whoa, man is absolutely livid out here. Yeah, uh, yes, he I is. Out goes uh, Jim and Richard going Turbo out and executed perfectly. How about that? Good form. Face out on. on his forearm. And uh, the boot to the midsection by Detroit Demolition right here on the floor. And the State Fair Rounds Arena, Birmingham, Alabama. Back into the ring is hurdled uh, Turbo Ted. Turbo Ted jumped with, with like a lion. He just leaped into the ring. Well, I think he had a little bit of help, Charlie. Oh. Look at that, he's knocking the snot out of him. It's beautiful. Oh, look at this. He's hooked up. He's cleaning his house. Oh, say goodnight, Irene. It's all over, Charlie, Turbo Ted. Tell me about it. There's your three count. Get down to that pile driver. You can count to 21 with this one. It's over like basketball. 21, it's over. Vicious maneuver, and your winner with a hand raised is Detroit Demolition. I tell you what, I want to talk to this honor guard. And right now, I'd like to remind you, the CWF is on tour. Take a look. We might be in your area soon.